What up, fam? What's good? We at the shop today. Hey, guess what? I'm still working on them dolls. I started working on the speaker rings today. So, shoot, we're going to show you how I got down with them. I ain't actually cut them out, but I got them prepared. I was waiting on my tow man to come pick up the Impala. He was going to tow it to the house for me, but he ain't showed up yet. I've been here about half the day. So I said, well, I'm peeling around. Cause we about done cleaning up everything. You know what I'm saying? You little 360 behind me. And got everything ready to go. And uh I was waiting on the tow man to show up. We can pull this car out of here. But in the meantime, I said I was gonna work on these speaker rings, which I did. So I'm gonna show you what I did to them, show you how I'm finna finish them. Okay, so you see we got two 10-inch rings drawed out here. Now, I'm going to leave them like this. Okay, now the reason I'm going to leave them like this because I'm going with a different brand than I used to make these templates. Okay, I used the audio pipe 10, which are the ones I ran in the back doors. But I'm going to run some uh, Rockville 10s in the front doors. And so... The reason I'm leaving them like this until I get the the tins in, that way I can make sure they gonna fit perfectly inside of this ring here. I can cut this trim out because I'm pretty sure it's probably a little bit different the baskets on the rock bills than the audio pipe. So I didn't want to cut these out and then realize I cut out too much, and then I gotta go back and either make some more, or, you know what I'm saying, or just wasting wood. So I'm gonna leave them like this, and when I get the 10 inches in, I know they're gonna come new, and they're gonna come with a template like this, and I can probably put up against this one and uh, make sure they fit. Or hell, just cut these out and, and trim them until I test fit and they work right. So that's pretty much what I did. So how I got to this point without having a diagram is, I'm grab my tape measure here because I did use my tape measure. I took the whole tin, I flipped it upside down, I put it back in the car. But I put it upside down and I did the outside ring here. Okay. Did the outside ring. And then I measured the inside lip from the outside tip to the inside of the basket. Now this space right here is where your screws, mountain holes, would be at. Okay, so I measured that part. And since I couldn't get a good measurement in here because this thing was in the way, this metal piece, what I did was I turned it over and I put it on the basket and I marked on the back of the tape measure right here where the outside of it ends it. So then I just marked from the tip right here where I needed to go. And I just followed that on the round. So I did like one here, then I did one there, then I came and did another one here. And I just basically went around the whole thing, marking them. I didn't do it on here the first time, so that's why they're like chicken scratch. But you can see this one has a bit more of a better line going around it. So it came out a lot better. But I'm going to leave them like this until I get the Rockville tins in. Then I can make sure they test it right. Then I can take these rings and get some of that wood over there. And then just make the other, I need four, five, yeah, I need four more rings. So I can use that wood over there to cut out four more rings once I get these right here. So now it's just making the same thing, making the template here from this template. And so... I partially got it already. Put the tape measure down. I pretty much got it. I got it already. I'm finna get ready to tear this out. Cause I'm gonna use this piece of wood here to make the the uh the rings for that uh for that horn right there. So this this piece right here going to the house. Cause once I get a drill, you know, I'm gonna drill my hole and take my jig and go outside there. But I want that to be right. So that's that. 
And then this piece right here, we're gonna take this little center part out and then we'll mark up on here how it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna get started on that and I'll bring you back. I still ain't got no damn tripod, so here, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. So I got that toe out. So I'm gonna find a nice place to put this right here. I wanna use as much wood as I can. So since I know that tipping is gonna be good and I'm gonna have enough space for my speak rings, I'm gonna go ahead on and circle that ring on out. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to do this one-handed. <laughs> Let's see. I think I can do it. Still get it right. Gotta use those car audio hands. But yeah, man, I'm glad we got some good weather today. You know? And uh try to hold that down, that paper down. I'm just gonna sketch it on the outside of it as close as I can. I thought I had maybe a thinner marker, but all I got is fat boy marker. And so once I get this one cut out, I'm just going to uh, use this one template. Uh, let see how can I do this. Okay. Use this one template there. Use this one template to make the other one because all I need is two. I just gotta make one more and this wood here be sufficient enough. So, move this out the way. So I got my thing right there. Good. So now I know I can cut this part out here and that'll be enough to where that uh that horn can sit down in that in that hole there. So like I said, once I get this cut out, I'll do it again on the next one. Probably do it about right there. Use this wood up. Now this wood I think is quarter inch. Yeah. That's quarter inch wood. Let me see, is it half 12 millimeter? Yeah, something like that. Oh, hold on, y'all. This is my toe man. Okay. So, my car won't get towed today. I'm probably gonna sit here one more day. So, uh, hopefully, get towed tomorrow. Anyway, so. Back to the rings. So now I know where my inside diameter is for this template. I really don't have to have, you know, seeing these direct outline of the basket or the frame, bell, whatever you call it. But uh, I really could just make it another circle if I really wanted to. You know what I'm saying? I just need to make sure this is correct because I want that horn to sit down in there and have enough lip where I can mount. Because I only got four mounting screws, so. You know what I'm saying? It's not all that big of a deal. Plus, like I said, ain't nobody gonna see it no way because the door's gonna be wrapped. So as long as I got this, I can do this again. Make me another ring. And you know what I'm saying? That I'll be done, be done with that. So I need to make two of them. My uh my big tweeters, they already got they already got rings on them. My super tweeters do. That's going to the door. They all got rings on them, so that saved me two rings I ain't even have to cut. You know what I'm saying? I can just take them off, off the tweeters themselves, and go ahead and mount them on the door. That we can go ahead and wrap them. So, at least we got that much done. I got uh, I got to get another piece of wood for this so I can put these rings actually on it. And I got to cut another one of these frames out for the driver's side. So, get that done. Get these rings cut out, at the ones for those tens, get those cut, then get these cut, 
and get them mocked up on here so I know, you know what I'm saying, where they're going to be placed at and then get them test fitted on the door themselves. So that's about where I am. Uh, since he ain't coming today, I'm probably going to shoot out. I got some more stuff I need to do today. But it was a good day to be at the shop. You know what I'm saying? I can still utilize it while I'm still here. And uh, I want to get some type of leeway, uh, progress on these doors because I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get back to banging. I've been working hard. And, uh, hey, man, I ain't giving up on nothing. I'm just going to another stage in life. And that's why I say I'm going to take my channel to a different direction. Because uh, I just realized some things, you know. And once you find out, once you dig down inside yourself and you realize that, you know, you have more potential than what you think you have, you can do better once you know better. So that's where I'm at. But uh, still let it call, man. We're still going to do it. So, hey. Stay tuned. We still going to be making progress. Still got black magic to do. We got some more projects to do. So we're just keeping it going, man. Hey, until next time, I holler at you. Say one to one. Like, subscribe, comment. You know what I'm saying? Ask me some questions if you got some questions to ask. Uh, if you got something you want to see, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Chop it up with me. I always respond back to the comments. So hit me up. Gone.